great place for all of us to live. Life is a series of stepping up and stepping out. When I was growing up in Chicago, my teachers and my parents always told me that I could do anything that I wanted to do. My father instilled in me to be the best that I could be. He used to say, if you are going to be a bum, make sure you are the best bum. He always urged me to step up. So I stepped up and finished high school first in my major and went to Michigan Avenue in 1964 to get the best job that I could. And when no one would hire me, I realized the impact of racism. At 18, I then decided to step up again and go to college. I married and had three kids, so it took a while for me to finish. I became a secretary and then a teacher. Along the way, I worked for a law firm where a black woman law partner inspired me. Her example planted a seed. Right after finally graduating from DePaul University in 1975, I stepped up and when I had to defy my husband, I went to Fort Leonard Wood here in Missouri to attend my little brother's graduation from basic training. I took our kids and it was like, and it is like a journey back in time. While we were there, my eldest daughter, nine years old, drowned. Her death shattered our family and some of my siblings did not survive her loss. My parents died as well. When someone close to you dies, you either die yourself or you figure out a way to go on. So I stepped up again for my two remaining children and my students and my family. They were there for me as well. As secretary and teacher, I moved my new husband here to St. Louis and opened up Cardinal Winter College Prep High School. He supported my dream to be an attorney, and again, I stepped up and stepped out and went to St. Louis University Law School. I graduated in 1984. I have been active in the community. I met a young girl named Destiny. She's an amazing young person. She knows exactly what she needs to do to succeed in school and exactly what she needs to do right down to the pencil she needs to write. Our school system is failing Destiny. She's trying to make her school better and can't even vote yet. As mayor, I will bring the voice of Destiny to the table. While working on the Obama campaign, I had the opportunity to partner with a high school student named Byron. As we walked, we talked, and I learned about his dreams and his hope. He is making every effort possible to reach his goals, yet our city doesn't help him. Our transportation is failing Byron. Our unsafe neighborhoods are failing him. He's 16. He's working to make our nation and city better, and he can't even vote yet. As mayor, I will bring the voice of Byron to the table. My husband, Bob Coleman, served our community as a police officer in the 8th District for 10 years. He saw the despair, the hopelessness, and fear on the faces of the teenagers on the street. He's seen police officers have positive relationships with youth and others. He's committed to making our city a safer place, and he's committed to voting for me in this election. As mayor, I will bring the voice of Bob and those who understand the necessity of partnership between police and citizens to the table. I am running for the opportunity to represent you as mayor because now is the time for change. On New Year's Day, I went to church to a commemoration process or ceremony for the Emancipation Proclamation. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver urged the congregation not to be indifferent that every one of us needs to do what we can do. So I realize that if I truly care, I have to dare to step up, to step out, and to run for mayor. I am running for Destiny, Byron, and Bob. I am running for my children and grandchildren. I am running for all of the citizens of St. Louis who think that local change is impossible and life will never get better here. I am running to let children know what you must dream and dare to act. I am running to remind us that with God, all things are possible. I will be a mayor of all the people, especially the young. They are, ma they are our major resource. Together we can make a change for our children and begin the process of eliminating the impact of poverty on them. We have to invest in our children by creating 
a world-class educational system. We must foster healthy lives for all people. We must build welcoming neighborhoods. We must make and create good jobs and advancement. And we must foster city and regional dialogue in progress. In each of these areas, I am passionate and sensitive to the injustices that have plagued this city. Where most see just statistics and numbers, I see people. I'm putting people first. I am saying that economic development must be balanced with people development. And investment in business must go hand in hand with investment with people. We are facing complicated problems in our schools, the economy, crime, and racial divide. These problems were not created in a day, and these problems will be not solved in a day. It will take all of us working together to make St. Louis a better place for our children and the rest of us. I have no hindered agenda. I have made no promises to any special interest group or corporation. I hold myself accountable to you, the people of the city of St. Louis. I have a vision of the St. Louis city as a place where people safely walk the streets, where people are gainfully employed and good jobs because businesses have been attracted here. Where preschoolers to adult learners have gotten a high class education. I am asking you as voters to vote for me on March 3rd and the committee, I'm asking for your endorsement today. God bless the city of St. Louis.